Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Okay, so where you left off, we completed Freeze's E Peak, and we completed uh, Gobi's Valley. So the next level we're gonna do is Mad Monster Mansion, and maybe uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, today is February the twenty fourth, so I'm now going to talk about. Some po a little bit something political, as I said I was going to do that last gameplay, but then it just evolved in me talking about my personal life and like, you know, the wanting, like, talking about wanting to have a girlfriend and stuff, like, you know, just the, the, the pursuit of one and stuff, saying that I might never have one and everything, just my thoughts on that, but either way now I guess it's, it's a perfect time to focus on some political stuff. Next we're gonna play, uh, but for, I'm gonna just mention the update. Hang on. Oh, shit. Yeah. I forgot I have a shortcut. Sorry, that's what happens when you're talking. You kind of, like, just lose track and everything. Remember, I, it happened to me before, but I just figured, you know what, like, now I now that I remember, best to go back. So, yeah, there's a shortcut. I'm gonna go do Mad Monster Mansion. I'm not- I hope I would be able to do two levels, like, kind of like I've been doing recently. Oh, shit, there's a- Mumbo token. I'm gonna go back and grab it. Hang on. So like, uh, you know, because Mad Monster Mansion, I feel like that one level, that, that level could be a little bit longer compared to the others, or maybe not. Maybe I'll actually finish it early and then do uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. So who knows? But yeah. So anyway, I guess what I'd like to talk about is just more about the Israeli, the Israel-Palestine conflict, and honestly. All I could just say is that, like, Israel is a fucking satanic state. I mean, like, how they've been treating the Palestinians and how cruel their, you know, soldiers are. It's basically just modern-day Nazi Germany. And the fact that the United States is still planning on giving them, like, you know, more weapons and stuff. And, like, it is, and especially I'm talking about, like, money in general. Because, like, uh, you know, there's the, the Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan military aid bill, which... Gives the gives Israel 14 billion dollars, and I'm like, no, fuck that. But I mean, it passed in the Senate overwhelmingly, unfortunately. But there is, it needs to go through the House of Representatives, and they're saying it might not pass mainly because Republicans are just steadfast on not approving it because they're like, we're not going to approve this bill unless there's like aid for the border and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. That ugly bear, you feathered freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. Oh, I read this before. You know, like, um, they're saying they won't approve the bill unless, uh, there's, like, you know, aid, like, financial aid for the border and stuff. But, of course, I mean, if there was aid for the border, then obviously, like, you know, uh, they'd approve it. You know, when I saw this, I literally thought that was, like, an extra door. That would like lead to Gruntilda, but it's just it's just a, a sign like it's basically just for show basically. But of course, I think there's some lore to this is that this is probably where Gruntilda was like born and raised because if you go inside that haunted house, you see like a picture of her and stuff. Here, I'll show you. Of course, I'm not gonna focus on that until like after I get that jigsaw, you know. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. <laughs> Jeez. And now look at this. Who woke Napper while he's sleeping? I can hear someone down there creeping. So yeah, this guy that has a jigsaw, he kind of looks like Slimer a bit. I mean, of course, that's not me saying it. I've got Game Grumps kind of commented on that, like, you know, when they were talking to Grant Kirkhope. So this is not, like, this isn't my idea. I just like to point that out. He does look like Sl Slimer. So this guy is Napper, and he has a jigsaw. You can't get it unless you take it from him while he's asleep. And I am aware that you could get it just by, like, walking very slowly on the, on the, uh, on the wooden floor. But here's the thing. When I was a kid, how I found out about this is that, um... Basically, just go up from the chimney, you land in the fireplace, and, like, then you just, you know, like, go on the chair. Let me see, yeah, can I just jump normally? Oh, yeah, you can, okay. You jump from the chair, go up from here, and then you grab the jigsaw, but of course he's awake now, so I can't do it. My golden prize you may not take. Not while old Napper's awake. 
stuff, so... That's what he looks like. You can like, you know... You can like, uh... Touch him and stuff and you won't take damage. So yeah, there he is. You know, I could just sta stand and stare, but I just really want to keep on moving, you know? Does he say anything else? I think that's about it. It's probably the only dialogue, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get that later, obviously, when I go all the way up. I am, like I said, I am aware you could just take it from him, like, by walking slow on the car on the floor. But I didn't know you could do that. I mean, of course, JonTron kind of mentioned it. But, you know, I want to do it how I did it when I was a kid, you know? I'm aware that these windows go to certain rooms where there's, like, music notes and other jigsaws. Hang on, there's, like, pictures. Oh, okay, sometimes there's, like, one of those, like, monsters that hides in the, uh... You know, in those pictures. So I'm very careful. I know I could kill these guys with the invincible. I don't know if he can. Can he kill them? I want to try. Let, let me try it. Why not? Oh shit! Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This happens. Oh, hang on, hang on. Nope, wrong button. Can I kill them? Oh yeah, you can. Wow. Okay. So they're not that invincible. I'm low on gold feathers though, but I'm pretty sure there's some like around here. You know. Yeah. So this room doesn't have anything. It's just feathers, really. Uh, yeah, so, hopefully this, this build doesn't pass, because obviously, like, like I said, it fuels the Ukraine proxy war, and also gives more money to Israel when they're obviously committing a geno uh, genocide, and also gives money to Taiwan, whereas the United States recognizes Taiwan as part of China, yet we're, you know, funding them anyway. Well, I mean, of course, I am aware that they're, they're doing it mainly because, like I said, you know, they want to... They want to wage war against China, and Taiwan's the perfect country for that, so, you know. So, what I mean by that is that, like, Taiwan's not gonna, like, launch an offensive against China, but I mean, like, they're going, they're trying to go China into, like, maybe attacking it. And I mean, even if they do, like, obviously, like I said then, perfect opportunity to continue the proxy war. Same thing for Ukraine, you know? Oh, look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, just checking. So it's just eggs. It's kind of funny, like, look, see this picture of the pirate? So this character shown here, he doesn't show up until Banjo-Tooie, but it's kind of interesting how... I'm pretty sure Rare had the idea of including him as a character in this game, but it just didn't have time or didn't have the space in the, in the, in the game, so they're like, they had to set him aside for, you know, Banjo-Tooie. I mean, of course, there were ideas when they were making this game that were set aside for Banjo-Tooie. Like, obviously, like, you know, you know the song that Grant Kirkhope said about, you know, the one that was like, come on, have a go if you think you're hard enough. You know, it says it, it, it it's shown in, ba in Banjo-Tooie, but he said he was going to include it in Banjo-Kazooie, but either he didn't have time or there wasn't any space for this game, so he was like, you know, he had to scrap that and just do it, uh, you know, for, 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 uh, Banjo-Tooie. So I just thought it was kind of interesting that some things from the sequel you'd, you'd actually see in this game. Because when I was playing this as a kid, I was like, who are these, why, like, who's this pirate guy? Like, I've never seen him before. Okay. We can kill him. Ah, oh, fuck. There you go. These, these feathers are important because, like, you know, Without it, like, you know, be you can't kill these guys. So I just hope that there is, like, gold feathers somewhere. If I can find them. Okay, I hear a Jinju. I'm assuming it's in here. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, nice. It's just one of these things. Ah, oh, Jigsaw, nice. Mumbo token, nice. But if it wants, but if this time it needs 25 to be the pumpkin, who knows? Well, if that's the case, I just need one more. Anyway, so you can't break this. Yeah, I don't remember ever destroying that thing. Let's maybe use eggs. No, of course not. Yeah, I don't remember ever going inside, so... This, this entire room is basically a wine cellar. 
or beer cellar or something like that. I would say wine cellar would look more like wine. See those like, like those bottles right there. I actually don't really see any bottles, it's just the, but I think you could say it is a wine cellar. It's like where they hold the wine bottles and stuff. Mm, excuse me. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we don't need to go in here yet, but, you know, or I could, you know what, why not? Like, I'll just go in, just explore the grounds for now, and then we'll go up top. So, this is the church. You can only go in until, like, you know, you get, use a speed, you hit the switch and use the speedy shoes. Also, wait, I love this. Listen. Oh, hang on. Aw, oh, damn. Remember that part when Green Kirkhope was like making fun of John or, or Aaron when they were trying to get the eggs in? The egg in? It was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> and that's obviously Grant Kirkhope saying thank you. It's funny how he said he had to do multiple takes because they thought he would say fuck you instead of thank you. It's pretty funny. Anyway, alright. So we just gotta give them the eggs. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was so sweet that they included that, you know? Oh, sweet, mumbo token. Now I have 25. So if it asks for 25, I have 25. Alright. Hang on. Thank you. Alright. It's really creepy how they have those, like, tombstone monsters, you know? And then they show up in the the Mad Monster Mansion entrance in Gruntilda's uh, lair, and they're and for some strange reason they make them like far bigger compared to these guys who are like much smaller, you know. It's kind of kind of I find it like kind of you know unnerving because it's like they're like huge and stuff, whereas these guys are like basically the same size as Banjo, you know. I know there's like a... There we go! Alright. Let's see... Oh yeah, we can enter here. This is the part where... John, or Aaron, whoever was controlling... Died here before they moved on to Golden Eye 7. Nice. Or Feather. Gold Feather, I mean. I don't know what's the point of this area. Obviously there is no jigsaw or music note. It's probably just some bonus room, something like that. But yeah, but that's everything. See those picture, Gruntilda, the pirate who shows up in Banjo Tooie. The drunk pirate, I might add. It was pretty like funny how they made him drunk. He said that he's been he he drank so much seawater that he feels sick. Of course they had they said seawater to because it's a kids game, they can't say alcohol. We all know we all know it's alcohol, of course, but you know. Shit. Hate these bats. But anyway. Alright, now we can take down this gate. Always take out these gates because you know they do block you off. If you're a pumpkin, they block you off to certain areas. Oh wait. Yeah, we have to go all the way up, so then we can, uh, cause there's a jigsaw right up top of the, the clock tower. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, hang on. Damn. If I can just... Yeah. Okay, there we go. The music notes, and then we can get the jigsaw up top. So yeah, it's quite sad about... What's happening to the Palestinians? I've heard that they're now basically eating animal food, which is absolutely disgraceful how the Israelis are treating them. Obviously, they're like sabotaging their, their food rations and everything. So, it is quite a tragedy and just shows just how depraved that these satanic Israelis, like, you know, how, how they operate and stuff. I mean, as you guys know, I'm firmly opposed to Israel and stuff. Obviously, the creation of Israel was a was a major mistake and, and it was a huge disaster for humanity. Okay, I didn't know you could go in. I thought I would, I would have to find some way to hop up. Of course, I would have like find, found out eventually. 
I'm just careful. Yeah, yeah. And then you go all the way up and there's a there's a jigsaw at the very very top. It's kind of- I also find it funny how there is no, like, uh, hands on these clocks. They couldn't bother, like, maybe having these hands, like, show at midnight, because, you know, it's- it's dark and everything, the night's like a very spooky time, that kind of thing. But it's kind of funny, they were like, you know what, fuck it, just have no hands on the clock. Yeah. Okay, and also we can... We can sort of, uh, go up on the Mad Monster Mansion, but... There we go. Let's see, uh... I don't know if there's a ramp. I mean, I think you have to be a pumpkin in order, but we'll do that pumpkin thing much, like, till the very end, because obviously there's some areas where you're gonna have to break and stuff to get into these, like, areas of the haunted house. So we have to do that later. Anyway, so yeah, so... <clears throat> the creation of Israel was honestly a huge, major mistake, and... Like I said, it's quite unfortunate, like, that they decided to create the state. Because it has basically just shown just nothing but misery for everyone in the Middle East, not just Palestinians, because it's, it's the reason why all of the Middle East is, like, completely destabilized and stuff, all because of the creation of the Israeli state. And this didn't have to be this way. Obviously, you know, <clears throat> as some of you guys don't know, Israel used to be called Palestine, because it was called the... Palestinian region when it was the Ottoman Empire, but then after World War One because Turkey was on the side the Ottoman Empire was on the side of the uh, The Axis, you know, uh, Austria, Hung Hungary, and Germany when they're facing off against the uh, Other allied nations they lost so because of that, you know, some of their Their lands that they possessed were forfeited to the uh, to those that defeated the Ottoman Empire Which is basically France and the United Kingdom you know, as you know France occupied Syria and Lebanon, and the United Kingdom occupied Iraq, Jordan, and of course the Palestinian region, you know, or Palestinian state I would say. Um, they occupied that, and of course then they started giving it, you know, to the, to the Zionist Jews, who are, honestly are just, be, they don't have any connection to the, to the land of Israel, they're basically all just Eastern Europeans who just happen to have very, like, huge influence, and then they stole that land from the Palestinians, you know, so... And then of course, then that's what, and then of course when, when, you know, after World War II, when imperialism in the, uh, Third World was starting to wind down, like, United Kingdom leaving Egypt and Africa and stuff, and they left Palestine, but of course they kind of left with the Israelis having the upper, the upper hand, and of course then, then they kind of formed the State of Israel, and then the rest is history, unfortunately. So... Yeah, and so basically, you know, because of that, they just went all throughout, like, just mass terrorizing the Palestinians and stuff. That's where I, yeah. Hang on. I'm just exploring the entire maze, because obviously there's music notes, and... There's one ramp that would lead... I think it's probably yeah, not here, but I think I explored everywhere. But there's other areas I have to look around. That's on the ground, you know? So... Yeah, so they, uh, hang on. Oh, sweet. So they, like, you know, they basically stole the land, and of course, Israel, like, Egypt, the Palestinians, you know, Jordan and Syria, they tried going to war with them, and unfortunately, they never succeed, and, you know, started getting, started getting even worse and worse for everyone. And they also, and they also invaded southern Lebanon in, in the 1980s, you know, so... Just did a lot of, like, horrible stuff, you know? Okay, that's where we go to church. We'll do that later. I know these guys will go back up. They're like dry bones, you know? But... I'm just, uh, I just have to go the other way. See. Okay, we have to go that way. Oh yeah, that's where we get that other jigsaw. This one's kind of a challenge. I'm full health though, so I'll definitely do it. Yeah, because I'm not doing it unless I'm full health. Because you do take damage in this one. Oh, come on. 
Oh, fuck, come on. Okay, now I'm not at full health. And I could just... There we go. Oh, oh damn. I'm messing up the button pressing. Also, you don't need the golden feathers to take down those ghost guys. I mean, uh... I mean, it'd be much easier, but bear in mind, like I said, I completed this game without killing any of those skeleton guys and those ghosts, so, you know, I can still, uh, succeed do without it. Greetings, oh solid one. I'm Tumblr, the mighty solve- the mighty, solve the puzzle and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under- under me. Yeah, so you have to spell Banjo-Kazooie. First, before we do that, let's, uh... Okay, yeah. That ghost that's going around, you, you can't kill him. He's part of the, uh... He's part of the obstacle. B... A... C. Yeah, gotta wait for him to pass. N... Is it now J? J, J, J... There's the O... Okay, and I can't talk in this part because I have to focus on the letters I need to press. Okay, and I think there is an A right here. Ka, Z, Z. Two O. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. I.E. There we go. Yeah, it's not that hard. You just know where, where they are and stuff. And also, you get, you get a start when the ghost shows up. I didn't know about that. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Nice. Tumblr the Mighty. It's a very strange name, like for a crystal cylinder block, you know? Anyway, all right, completed that. Now let's go for the next one. Of course, you go straight to this is a, just a shortcut. Maybe I, c I could do the church, I guess. And yeah, why not? Because it's like you're gonna work on the. Oh, go. Oh, yeah. Here's the uh. I know there are those boots, but I want to step in this thing just to be to know what Grunty would say when you know that happens. Oh, it doesn't say anything. I thought Grunty would say something. Can I Can you grab it? Shit. Oh, sweet. Okay, we're gonna have to hang on. Yeah. There's like no choice really, like, you know, you can't, you can't jump normally with the... Okay, now there are these other music notes on the other side, hang on. So I didn't need... yeah. Okay, that's about it. And then we'll just use that jumping pad to go up to the well and grab that jigsaw. Alright. Anyway. Oh fuck. This is the control I was I was hitting it the wrong way because I thought Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, let me grab it first. Fuck, come on, grab it. There we go. I know I could have been a pumpkin to grab it, but I just figured, hey, since I'm down here, might as well. Okay. It's easier to be with a pumpkin because uh, you don't, you won't need oxygen if you're a pumpkin. So we'll do that later. Another uh, 
Hang on. Okay, we didn't need to take damage. There was just there was a ledge, so let's uh get, grab that gold feather. I need as many gold feathers as I can. Because I'm running low. There we go. Oh, okay, I see. And then you enter from here. You're immune from this whatever this toxic water is when you're a pumpkin, so. And I think you take damage from this. Let's find out. Oh, do you take damage? That's how you take damage. Oh, okay, that's interesting. How much health do I have? Okay, I really need to destroy a, uh, a honeycomb box. Maybe I think I should do that first before I continue. I know where one is, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it. It's right here. Alright. There we go. Just gotta stay away from these guys from now on. Alright, so now we'll go to the church. Alright, look at this. I love how there are those bells that, that happen. It just sounds really nice. Of course, you don't hear it once you have those shoes on. Oh, fuck. Camera. There we go. Now we're in the church. Also, the music in this is so good. I really love the pipe organ. It's honestly one of my all-time favorite in instruments, you know? Just for how it sounds and stuff, and, you know, you could either be sounding something peaceful, tranquil, or holy, or, so or something very, like, frightening and stuff. That's what I love about it. So much variety, so much, uh, you know, timbre and stuff. Timbre variety. Timbre's, like, tone color, by the way. I learned that in, like, Music appreciation. It's a very nice class that I was in. I love how you're, you're like tiny compared to the like pipe to the pipe organ. It's like a giant used to play it or something. Now look at this. Oh, okay. I have to stand in front of the uh, the sheet in order to do this uh, next uh, jigsaw. I would say. Look at this. Mozart plays his organ with ease. But can you follow him on the keys? So look at this. Just gotta press after he presses. Not bad, Bear, but now watch me. Copy this tune, and amazed I'll be. Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Nice. I'm sorry if I wasn't talking this part, because it's like, one, I had to really focus because you had to copy what he's pressing, and two, also just because I, I love this music and I figured maybe it's best I not talk, just for you guys to enjoy, you know? That kind of thing. But yeah, so it's, this is one of my favorite levels, obviously, mainly also because of the music and, you know, just for how, how everything sounds so beautiful and stuff. Okay, grab the music notes. This is another, and this, this is another jigsaw that I didn't find until, you know, my much later. This is when, during the time when I 
before I 100 percent this game with all the jigsaws. Uh, I didn't know that there was a Grantilda button at the very top of the church. Top of the inside of the church, I mean. Not because we already got to the top of the church, but I mean, obviously here. There's also a, uh, an empty honeycomb piece. Alright. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, let's kill this guy. These guys are a pain in the ass. Okay. Matilda. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, it's probably over there. Alright, there we go. Another gold feather, nice. Huh, <laughs> jigsaw in her eye. You gotta break the glass before you can go in. So you need the. the flying, uh. A flying thing, you know, when you have to get the speedy shoots to get us. So yeah, that's what you need to do. Uh, anyway, now we need to get back down. Hopefully, we don't take any fall damage. Okay, we did it. Nice landing. Up. Oh, sorry for the camera. I wonder. Also, you see this? If this is actual sheet music from Grant Kirkhope's composition of this song. I mean, I think it is. Leave it in the comments for any of you guys who are, like, musically literate, if you could read this. And if this is actually, like, Grant Cope's, uh, Grant Kirk Hope's, uh, musical composition of this song that's playing. I because th I think it is. I think it has to be. It's like a nice, uh, cool Easter egg. I see Moten is not there. Yeah, he disappears once you, um, once you, uh, complete this. It's, it's like, oh, okay, I have to do this. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, so there's only, I think there's only two of these guys, so maybe we could ignore this guy. As long as we just ignore him. Ah, oh, fuck. There's no grabbing the ledge, so you gotta do this. Alright, so yeah, so... The Israeli-Palestinian conflict... Just goes to show you, like, just how savage, you know, these Israeli soldiers are. And for the record, I am aware that there are also very, like, you know, innocent and good Israelis in Israel, but most of them just approve the genocide of Gaza, which is just sad, really, but... <laughs> Excuse me. But, hopefully... I mean, it just, because it's like, you know... And, I mean, and also the fact that they, like, you know, are vehemently, like, demand that they have, like, this piece of the Holy Land, when in reality they had, they have no claim to it. Yeah, they say Jews are Semites and stuff, but honestly, they're not. They're, they're mainly Eastern Europeans, usually, mostly Ukrainians, Russians, and Poles, basically, you know, that have occupied, you know, this Middle Eastern region, which was supposed to be Palestinians, but the... Imperialist, you know, Brits, Brits just gave it to them, you know. Okay. Anyway, so I guess the next thing I have to do now is, uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, go up, go up to the house. And I know that yeah, you don't need the. I think the ramp you can only go on if you're the pumpkin. Like we go, there's this like hole and stuff. But before we do that, we can still go up from here. So you have to do this first. Yeah, okay, right button. I always get confused as what button to press, and I accidentally press the uh, feather invincibility thing, you know? Anyway, so yes, I am playing this game on a Saturday, just because uh, I, didn't ha I, didn't ha I, didn't ha I didn't feel like playing before, but now I do, so uh, obviously that there is Toonami. Like, there's nothing really to watch, really, because of Dr. Stone, but I do want to watch some more Licorice Recoil. Mainly just so I can go on 4chan and like, you know, just hear the guys like just fawning over the girls and stuff. I like that. It's pretty funny. Anyway, okay, let's see. Oh, it's the toilet. Look. Girl, a bear is much too fat to fit in Lago's mouth. <laughs> Lago the toilet. Why is his name Lago? Is it, how is that like anything about a... 
anything like a t toilet. Maybe they should they should have called him Lou. Get it? Like you know like like poo in the loo. It's like a fucking thing they learned from 4chan. You know like. <laughs> anyway, but we can only go there once. Uh, once like he uh, we turn into a pumpkin. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I have to check the. Should I check? Let me check the other side. Aha, I was right. There's more. These bats are so tiny, even though they're like, en like monster enemies, you know? Got it. There's a jigsaw. Or either a jigsaw or an empty honeycomb piece somewhere. Under the floorboards. Oh, I think you have to... Okay, yeah, empty honeycomb piece. I really think you have to be a pumpkin. Yeah, you have to be a pumpkin in order to grab it. But, you know, we cleared the- we, we destroyed the window so we can gain access to it. Alright. Hang on. Go through that big window. It's a bedroom. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there was a skull token here. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Is there a chest? Can I open it? Oh no, but there's a there's a Jinjo. Nice. All right, one more. Can I break it? I love how they made it put a chest here, it makes just this thing like just so, you know, irresistible, like because it feels like it just stands out, you know? I don't know. Okay, got it. Oh the last one, nice. I think we got everyone. Another area for the pumpkin. Anyway. Oh. Hang on. Here we go. Got it. And I think from up here, we can go down and get that jigsaw. Yeah, he's napping. Nice. Doesn't matter how much noise you make, he only wakes up if you uh, step on the floorboard. So look at this. Grunty's gold, how it shone. She'll be mad, now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad. My boot I'll put up your useless spooky butt. <laughs> that didn't rhyme, by the way. But that's fine. Doesn't have to. Oh, look at these pictures. This is Gruntilda's broomstick. You have Mumbo, Klungo, and it's the castle, Grunty's sister. And that's the, that's Grunty's cauldron. I don't know his name, but you know it's it's her cauldron right there, and there's Gruntilda. Yeah. So it makes it feel like, you know, that she was probably born here in this area. Considering this is like very much like a spooky, you know, monster haunted house Halloween kind of thing, so it really feels like, yeah. This is for just one, this one up. Okay, uh, there you go. Yeah, nothing really here. It's just to grab that one up, really. Okay, so we got that. I think we explored everywhere in the haunted house, and uh, yeah, and up top. So now we can turn into a pumpkin. And grab this one right here. Oh no, no, we're on the wrong way. Oh yeah, and go into into Lo Logo's mouth. So then he'll go to get another jigsaw.
Alright. Got everything. And it's only- oh, we can't call it just yet, because there's still more to do. But I feel like we're moving along smoothly. Oh, 20. Okay. That's good. Let's see if there's anything up here. Anyway, so... Okay, gold feathers. We're good. Alright. Let's change it to a pumpkin, shall we? Ah, Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. You know, I never had pumpkin soup. I, I wish I do. Maybe it tastes good. I don't know. Because it's like... I've had a uh, pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie, by the way. It's really tasty. So maybe pumpkin soup is just as good. Who knows? Alright, so now that we're a pumpkin, we can now gain access to areas that we can't normally fit. And yes, that includes... Uh... Oh shit, I actually haven't even destroyed the gate. I think I need to, yeah, maybe destroy the gate before. Because, like, you know, to go in and, like, you know, gain access to the to the haunted house place, you know, so I can raise the water level. I forgot to do that, so maybe I'll have to turn back to normal, go out, destroy a thing, and then I can go back here and, you know, change to a pumpkin and stuff. Alright. First, there's one jigsaw that... It's in that, uh... It's in that thing, it's like you go through a gutter. Oh, okay, right here. It's just right above go. Got it? Got 8-4. Yeah, so, and, and it's, it's just absolutely, I fucking hate how, like, my government is just paying for the genocide and the fact that the United States is so close to Israel, but yeah, I mean, I know why, because, you know, they're... They're Europeans, and it's an imperialist country, hence they view Israelis as their close allies. And of course, also because the Zionist Jews have a lot of control in our government. That's why I consider the United States like Zog, you know, Zionist occupied government. Because that's what it is, it's a Zionist occupied government. And to those who say that, oh, that's anti-Semitism and stuff, it's not anti-Semitism if you only are focusing on just those that are, you know, doing it out of malicious intent, and I'm talking about Zionist Jews that are doing it in malicious intent. Now, it's anti-Semitism if you refer to ordinary Jews, like those that have no issues, or, or I mean, those who do not terrorize the Palestinians, because there are good Jews who are opposed to this, and obviously if you blame all people, like all Jews, for what they're doing, then yes, that's anti-Semitism. Although I would say, I'd honestly refer not as anti-Semitism, more like anti-Judaism, because really a Semite is someone who is native of the, or has ancestors of the ancient Holy Land, and obviously I'm more Semitic, you know, than any of these, like, you know, Zionist Jews that occupy Israel. Like, most of them only have ancestors in Russia, Poland, or Ukraine and stuff, whereas for me, like, my ancestry in my, on my father's side is, uh, like, you know, 100% from the Syria-Lebanon region, so honestly, I'm more Semitic compared to any of the other Zionist Jews, no matter how much they say, oh, that they are, like, you know, you know, that's their whole, like, their ancestral land, where it's, that's not true. Happy landings, little one. <laughs> oh, it's nasty. Anyway. Got that? Just have to let the music finish, you know? Okay, we're 10. Oh yeah, okay, we're 10. We don't need more. I think all that's left is basically uh, just to get the music notes. However much we can, we don't need to 100% it, but I do remember that there was a, a couple of them at that well, so we gotta go back. There we go. 
That was nasty. I can't believe you went in there! Now wash your hands, you fil filthy bear! I thought it said, wash your hands, you, you filthy bear. I didn't know it's wash your hands, filthy bear. Because that's how my dad read it when uh, he first read it for me, and it kind of stuck with me. And also, she's saying about how I'm, like, you know, nasty and stuff, whereas, um, it, like, Rentilda, she does a lot of gross, gross shit, you know? Considering about... I mean, according to her, to her sister, you know, about the, the stuff that she's, like, you know, done and everything, you know? In, in her, like, in her life and everything, so it's kind of ironic coming from her, you know? Anyway, so, okay. I don't think we could go all the way up where, you know, there's that, like, chimney with a hole because there is no way to go up further. Okay, yeah. Alright. These music notes. Oh, fuck. Alright. Okay. Six. Seven. Yeah, it's not gonna be a hundred, unfortunately. I don't know where the rest are, really. Anyone? Okay, yeah, like, there's nine more, so I really don't know. Maybe if this. Oh, yeah, can we go in here? It's like. No, nothing. Okay. Got everything here, so now. We haven't explored the maze, like, thoroughly. Maybe there's probably a couple, like, somewhere. I don't mind- I don't mind looking, really. I know I don't need to 100% it, but I just figured, like, just so that I can keep on talking, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Oh, shit. Be careful with these guys. Yeah, because now that I'm a pumpkin, I do have access to certain areas where... I don't have access before, so it's probably good that I, uh, just focus on that, you know? 